Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to synchronize two systems, Shopify and Salesforce, using Power Automate. So the scenario here will be create when the order is created or modified in Shopify, it will go into Salesforce with all the line items provided. So I'm creating an instant cloud flow in Power Automate and um, provide the flow name, which is um, order from Shopify to Salesforce. And I would, for this scenario, I would need to select when an HTTP request is received. I do this and then create the flow. Okay, so um, I provide a few variables that I'm going to use during the flow. Um, the most important ones are customer email, order number, order ID, price book ID, product query, and line items. So line items is an array, and others are string variables, which we are going to use later. So Here, the first step is to check where there is a customer email provided in the request, which we are receiving from Shopify. Um, when order in Shopify is created or modified, uh, Shopify will send a JSON object, which um, I will show how to set up later. So as part of the JSON object, some one property is contact underscore email which we use as the customer email and we're checking here whether we um to our variable the customer email we use either this one direct or using a customer email because sometimes it's missing in the object so if email is there, first we try to get the contact from Salesforce and Microsoft Power Automate provides us with a connector already and the action that we can use from Salesforce to be able to get record, right? So one of them, get records. That's the one we use here. So we get records of type accounts and we do the filter query. So person email, that's the internal name for that field in Salesforce, equal our customer email. Then um, in order to create order line items in Salesforce, we need to get the price book. And in our scenario, we are using standard price book in Salesforce. So to get the ID of the price book later down the track, I need to query the price books objects with this filter query. So because the activity from Salesforce connector is returning an array of items, we need to constantly loop through the uh, values here, right? And I assign the variable that I created before, the price book ID, with when I do the loop. So it will be always the latest price book that is returned by my query here in the beginning. Then I try to get the order because um, Shopify will send the same information to the same endpoint when the order is created or updated. So in this case, I need to check when the order exists, right? And um, so I'm using here the prefix that is used in the system for the order numbers, and I do the filter to get the order. So if order exists, I do one sorts of thing. If it doesn't exist, I need to create it. 
So in here, so I get the discount codes from the, because I need to do something about it. Then I create an order. Create order is an activity as well, uh, which is called create records. And um, I get the different values from the object that uh, um, Shopify is sending to my endpoint, to the HTTP request. So I initialize different fields with various values from the object here. So when the order is created, I get the order ID of the created one. And then I try to see if the product's already existing. So I get the product as a record and then I get the price book entry for that product. So here, the product ID and the price book ID, which I received earlier in my process. And then I create line items. So if order exists, what I'm doing is I'm trying to, I'm updating the order with the relevant details and then if the order, sometimes the order on fulfillment is coming with line items, not in the beginning when it was created. So I'm trying to add those line items to the existing order at this stage. And that's all in this scenario. So here we effectively creating, when the order is created or updated in Shopify, we create or update relevant records in Salesforce, which we can then analyze later down the track. So we can use it for the website that is using Salesforce. We can use it for marketing. We can use it in the marketing cloud as well. Uh, various scenarios afterwards. Now, in order to use this flow in real setup, we would need to get this detail from here, which is called HTTP post URL. So when we save the flow in Power Automate, it generates the URL that we can then use and provide in Shopify system. So what we need to do, we need to copy this URL and then use it down the track. Now, final bit in um, Shopify settings, in the notifications here, when we click, um, I will set up uh, a new webhook. I'll do create webhook. And the event I select will be order creation. This is the first one. And I copy and, and I paste the URL that was copied on the previous step into here. And I will do the latest version of the API and click save. Same, I will do with order fulfillment, which means or end the order or the order update, and then register with the same URL that I copied on the, at the previous step. And that's all. So after this, every time a new order is created in Shopify, the Power Automate will take it straight into Salesforce. And that's all for today. In this video, I showed you how we can quickly and easily synchronize two systems, Shopify and Salesforce, and um, how to build a workflow using Power Automate to connect those two systems. Stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to the channel and come back for more interesting content. Bye.